uh, we have also new TPU support within VMware Private AI. We have um, the NVIDIA RTX 600 or 6000 series as well as AMD CPU, uh, GPUs. What can you say about the AMD GPUs? Yeah, so what we are trying to do and this is from a historical perspective as well. We have always been the interop company, always try to support every types of hardware that you can basically buy from an enterprise perspective. And so we are doing the same thing for GPUs. So we started off with the market leader, mm -hmm. NVIDIA, and now we've extended that to both AMD and Intel. So there are certain uh, uh, devices from Intel mm -hmm. that we support and certain systems from AMD that we support. Yeah, and I would say that's great news because AMD is also really interesting for customers who needs, uh, need a lot of VRAM for a smaller price than uh, NVIDIA, but tooling on AMD is not as advanced as, uh, as it is on the NVIDIA side. So it's great that VMware is now supporting it in the private AI stack. Yeah. You guys announced a new feature uh, when you run multiple um, GPUs from different vendors on the platform. Um, how does that work? Yeah, so what we are doing is with model runtime, which is a self-serving way of deploying a large language model or an embedding model onto your environment, we also provide you with an inference engine that can be VLLM for completion models and Infinity for embedding models. But certain models, sizes or t types, like an embedding model, they can actually use a different types of, of accelerator. That can be a GPU or that can be a CPU. So we allow you to choose either CPU or GPU. And of course, the whole platform uh, provides support for if you have NVIDIA, we'll run it on NVIDIA. If you have AMD, we'll run it on AMD. Etc. Etc. The model runtime is a really interesting feature because you can have model, model as a service now within VMware Private AI. How does that work? Yeah, so model runtime allows us to orchestrate the entire deployment of all the infrastructure necessary, from a virtual perspective, of course, uh, to expose a model API endpoint. And what we do is we, we deploy a VKS work node with the model, but we also ingest that model from a model gallery, a model store, into the work node, and we will load it into the GPU memory and we expose the API endpoint, right? So a, a AI developer or a data scientist only needs to use that API endpoint. But one of the key things that is different for what we are going forward with is we don't think a one-to-one -one relationship between a AI application and a model is 100%. is not financially yeah. appealing. And so you can see it as some a form of consolidation where you have where you run a model and you expose it to different tenants. The model stays the same, yeah. but the data flow is different from a tenant perspective to, to that model as a service yeah. perspective. So you can run one model and expose it to many yeah. different applications.